Hello coin collectors and in this video I have $200 worth of $2 coins and I'm Frank the coin detective from Hunter Rare Coins. Okay here we go $200 worth of $2 coins. Let's see what we can find in this hunt. And what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the coloured coins, of course. We're looking for the low mintage, especially 2011. We're looking for error coins. We're not looking for the 1988 or 89 with the HH. That makes no difference to their value. There are many millions of them around. So that doesn't worry us at all. So there's lots of coloured coins around, but they seem to be getting harder and harder to find. And so are the error coins. The 2008, which we're not looking for. There are some that are lower mintage than others some years, like the 2000 and the 2012. But they're still around the four to five million mark. Which uh, isn't extremely low. We don't have the, here we go, here's a 2020 Jody Clark. We don't have the mintage for these yet, of course, but there's lots of them around. I'll hang on to a few of them, but just the sheer number of them coming through. I can't see them being a low mintage coin. But you never know. There's a bit of damage up there. That's post mint. Definitely not mint damage. And you can see where that's gone through the roller in the roller machine, putting it into its roll. You see that machine's made that groove in it. A couple more to go in this roll. Two thousand and seventeen. Which isn't a low mintage. Two thousand and nineteen JC of course a two thousand nineteen Jody Clark is a low mintage that we know of at the moment at 2 million. That's the end of our first roll. We'll move on and we'll speed up a little bit. There's a great condition, 1988, but they're so plentiful, I won't be keeping that. It's in really good nick, but it can go back. Fairly off-center coin here from 2006. Many, many of the $2 coins are off-center like this. It doesn't really add to their value. They're not rolled off at the edge, as you can see. They're just slightly off-center here on the obverse. So it's not going to add value, and it's not really an error. It just goes back.
Okay, this is our last roll. So far, nothing particularly exciting. Oh, I can see some colour there. That's a good start. What have we got here? Okay, $2, 100 years of repatriation. That's in fantastic condition from 2019. Two million of those. Our first colour for the day. That's a great find. Really good start there. Nice colour. Okay, there's our last couple of coins. Three to go. 2009, we're not after. 2015, we're not after either. And our last coin is a 1988 with the HH that doesn't make any difference to it. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so first off, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. 72020 Jody Clarks. So I think they're going to be a high minted, the number that are coming out. I'll send those back to the bank. Also, this coin here is 2004. Originally, I thought this could have been a die crack along here. But it doesn't seem to go through the rim, so I'm pretty sure it's not a die crack. It's just some type of whether it's where a knife has actually cut it while it's been opening the bag in the bank, I don't know. But of course our coin of the day is the 100 years of repatriation, $2 from 2019 at 2 million is a fantastic find, very hard to find, great coin, and that's what we've got today. So if you like my video, give me the big thumbs up. You can leave comments, I'd love to hear from people. And you can also subscribe to my channel, that's Hunter Rare Coins, and I'm Frank, the Coin Detective, and I'll see you next time.